Everything's warm, so when we wake up tomorrow, it should be like 14. Oh, really? Scientific method. <laughs> nice. The under lights look way cool. Hello and welcome to the Menachee 4x4 Trail, which is an off-road trail that will lead you into Menachee Meadows. Menachee Meadows is located right on the border in between the Sequoia and Inyo National Forest. Menachee Meadows is approximately a two-hour drive from the Highway 395. Besides the mild but fun off-roading, amazing scenery, and low crowds, the best part for me is the slow moving south fork of the Kern River which flows right through it. And if you love fly fishing like me, or even regular fishing, this trip will be one you will not soon forget, since this is one of the few locations in the area that you might get lucky enough to catch some of those beautiful golden trouts. Now sit back and enjoy the ride. ask for a better spot. Daniel with 395 Junkie here. We are on the south fork of the Kern. Just got up. It's about 6 30 in the morning. Drove in pretty late last night. Got here about 10 o'clock. Put a fire on. Had a couple drinks with some friends of ours and got to bed right around midnight. It's cold. It's probably about 38, 40 degrees. Everything's iced over this morning. But what a gorgeous morning. Uh, flows are a lot less now than they were probably about two months ago when we were up here last. But 
It looks really nice. It should be holding some fish. Do some off-roading later. But uh, got up early this morning, got cleaned up, about to put some coffee on and enjoying the view. So hope you guys uh, find this video and trip informative. Get you on your next journey up here, wherever you want to go off-roading. Uh, the point is get out there, enjoy the beautiful outdoors, and spend some time with some loved ones. So you can see from our campsite, we are located right on the South Fork of the Kern River. What a great spot. We were hoping it'd be available and considering it was Labor Day weekend, we had no guarantees that anything this close to the river would be available. We were in heaven. Woke up, had our coffee, grabbed our fly poles and went out and had our chance at catching some of those golden trout that you find generally only above 8,000 foot in elevation in the Sierra Mountains. So after a few hours of fishing, we figured, heck, let's just walk around, enjoy the views, take a walk up and down the river, and just relax. So after several hours of relaxing, hiking, and best of all doing some fly fishing, we decided to pack up and head out. First on our list was to do a little off-roading and exploring some of the several trails that are in the area. As you can see, much of the off-roading once you're in Menachee Meadows is pretty mild and nothing that a four-wheel drive with a decent amount of clearance can't handle. These little drives might have been one of our favorite parts of the trip as the scenery just got better and better around every turn. After several hours of off-roading, we decided to head back towards our first camp spot 
and look for another campsite for night number two somewhere within a short hike or even a drive to the river. As you continue down a lot of the flat open areas you inevitably get to some of the trees and that's when it gets really beautiful. You're surrounded on both sides, you got a trail that weaves in and out of trees left and right and up and down and even have to navigate over some larger rocks and wood pieces but nothing that a good spotter can't get you through. And then of course it's always fun doing the river crossings. This time around, the river was probably only about, say, 12 inches deep. And nothing that a lifted or even stock Rubicon this time of year can't handle. settled into our campsite and look at this stream. We were surprised after we parked, got out, walked around and saw that we would have a little creek going right through our campsite and boy was it nice to have a fresh water source nearby and just to fall asleep and hear that water run is really really fantastic. We were super pleased with this area and so much so we decided to stay here for nights number two and nights number three. I mean, how do you beat this? We found this spot after doing a little bit of a drive and now that we're here, we're all set up and let me show you around. There's our fire pit. We got Bill's tent set up. He's got a riverfront. He paid a premium for that sucker. And we got the Jeep over here. Rooftop tent set up. Just finishing lunch, got the scottle ready for dinner. And now you got everybody relaxing while I'm working. Working. Oh wow, look at those shirts. Dang, wow. representing 395 Junkie. Look at that. Uh huh. Hold on, there's a third one here. Oh no, she does. She's adventuring in the 395. Yeah, I bet. Uh huh, I bet. And then, of course, there's Samson home that stepped on. Hey, buddy. You can tell on the order of vegetables that I like a little bit of tomato, medium sized carrots. Bring on the stinky pea. Oh, they could. That takes care of the copyright, too. <laughs> so. Dinner. It's a, all it's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. It looks like chicken. 
carrots, asparagus, some balsamic vinegar, no. some olive oil, I don't think some so. crushed chili peppers, and a oh, secret here. ingredient yeah. which nobody knows about. Oh. I mean, you could do pre-made the hydrated meals if you're lazy and didn't have any skills. Some people do that. Some people will do just regular old burgers. But this is premium this adulting. This is premium adulting. Premium adulting. Which, which, you know, and for some people that's not their style. And I'm fine with that. That's okay. That, and that's okay. They're not at our level. Well, they're at a different, they're at a different level. They're at their level. They're at a, a different level. They're, this is the right. highest of all levels when it comes to cooking. Okay. This is, so, this, this is the script. Goal is to hit the whip. Goal it doesn't to, matter where you hit. The goal is to get it in one swipe. So, so to get to it in one muscle. swipe, give her an ex, to, give her an example, Bill. You almost want to pick a corner. Oh shit! <laughs> that was off balance. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do is make little kingdoms. Okay. Oh, see? <laughs> is it a good idea that Stadabs is sitting in there too? Oh, we'll be right. Oh. Is that the best you can do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take a nice, 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 easy swing, Tish. Hit it right in the center. Half the power Bill gave it. <laughs> this will be easy. Yeah, just hold it like that, dear. You don't need a, it's not that big of an axe. You can just hold it from the back there. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> that was good. Okay. 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 Okay.